Okay, so this is assignment one point eight, intro to three D modeling. We've got three objects we're going to uh, make for the first time in Inventor. We've already sketched these ones out and done the dimensioning for it. Now we're going to build them in three D. So I just do this first one in the winner's podium. So I'm going to go over here to Inventor if I can find it. Right there. I'm going to change my mouse size really quick. Hopefully it shows up on your end. There we go, a little bigger. So this thing is uh, 0.75 here, one inch here, 0.5 there, two inches wide. So what I'm gonna do in Inventor is I'm gonna start a new file. So when I first open Inventor, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna have part, assembly, presentation, drawing. The one we want to click is part. So we're gonna either click here to start a new part file, or an alternate way to do it is to go file, new, and then part. So either way, those either direction works. So first thing I'm going to do is here is just a big blank canvas. It's where we can do our sketching. So to start drawing a sketch, I'm going to go up here to the where it says Start 2D Sketch. I'm going to click that icon up here, like that. And then this represents the three different planes that we have in 3D: the X, Y, the X, or the Y, Z, and the X, Z. The plane I kind of like to use the most is just the X, Y, the kind of the most common coordinate system that we, we've kind of grown up with. So click there, and then up here, a bunch of these little icons are going to appear. We've got line, circle, arc, rectangle, and below these there's some cool things like squiggly lines, they call splines, arcs can be kind of ellipses, uh, different types of arcs, and rectangle is nuts, you can get rectangle, slots, and polygon. <coughs> um, today we just want to use this rectangle tool here. And I'm going to draw the overall size of that winner's podium, the, the first part. And if I remember right, it's two inches long and one inch tall. So before I click down here, notice how there's a blue number that's changing as I move my cursor. That number is blue and highlighted, meaning it's active and ready to be edited. So I could I could just type in two and then hit tab and it'll go to the, it'll tab to the next number. I want to make that one, and then I'll hit enter. So that's one way to get those dimensions in there. Another way to make it a two by one is to just drop down a rectangle and just kind of don't worry about how big it is. And then come here to the dimension tool, click this line, and then let's say let's make it two, and click enter. I can do the same thing with this line using the dimension tool. Click. I'll say one and hit enter, like that. Cool. So the thing about this one is it is not just a rectangle. It has some other features in it. We've got the uh, 0.75, 1.5, 0.5, and 0.75 right there. So over here, back in Inventor, I'm going to draw another rectangle in this top corner. And I know that it's about right here. Thank you very much. And then I'm going to take this dimension tool here. I'm going to go boom, boom. And that's going to be 0.75. Enter. I'm going to click here. And wait, nope, that's the right one. Hit escape. And then I'm going to click here and make this one 0.5, I believe. Let me make sure that's correct. Nope, 0.75. So I'm going to edit that and make it 0.75. So 0.75, enter, like that. Okay, and then the last little rectangle is really a square. I'm going to click my rectangle tool up here, go here, and I'm going to make this 0.5 by 0.5. So go 0.5, tab, 0.5, enter. I'll click um, finish sketch when I've done that up here. This green check mark gets me out of sketch mode. There it is. So one major mistake I see a lot of students do getting to this point is over here, they'll create a new sketch for every line they do, and that's incorrect. If we want to make a, you know, an extrusion that we're going to do here and pull this and to make it a 3D object, the sketch is, it has to be all one sketch. So to check to make sure it's all one sketch, I can go over here and hover over sketch one, and if everything is highlighted, then I know I've got it. So that is beautiful. So I'm going to click extrude, click this surface here, 
and it will automatically default to a one inch extrusion. I can change this to make it two or whatever, and, but the but one is conveniently already the correct dimension. So I'm gonna click okay, and there it is. If I click this thing over here, this is the origin block. And I can flip it around and I can see all different, different views. And that's it. Once I've got that model, I can go ahead and say file, save as. The best place to save it is to your student drive. It'll be the one that looks kind of like your email. Click that. Go ahead and click save. I'm not going to save it because I've already got this a million times saved in here. So click save and you've got it. And that is the first one.